When you come here for the Biennale, the streets just come alive. There's a significant influx of primarily architects. It just creates a great mood and a great feeling of collegiate activity. Everyone's excited to see each other, get together for a drink and dinners, and obviously attend the Brickworks Bar, which is now famous and synonymous amongst Australian architects and the Venice Biennale. My name is Brett Ward, I'm the General Manager of International Marketing for Brickworks. And what's exciting about this year is we've got the biggest contingent of Australian architects at the Biennale ever. Hi, I'm Monique from Wawawa and we're in Venice. Big Brickworks fans. We only use bricks by them. I just could not be happier and I'm really excited to get amongst it. We're at the Brickworks Bar on the Grand Canal in Venice and I am the director of Aspect Studios, Sasha Coles. It's pretty obvious why we made the cut. We specify a truckload of their product. <laughs> the way they do their business is about experience and quality and I think we identify with that. So one of the things that Brickworks has done to extend our involvement in the Biennale is we created a study tour. This year it was in Spain. We also did a day tour through Italy where we went to see some Scarpa. As well as a tour of our partner here in Italy called San Selmo. Beautiful handmade products that we can't make in Australia. And it was a really interesting experience for our clients to see how bricks are handmade compared to the traditional methods which are very much robotic. The opportunities that we try and create through our events, our, our bars and our dinners is not just about brickworks building relationships but also architects seeing each other again and, and building long term memories. I think one of the things this year that was really exciting was that we had both Australian architects and US based architects on the tour. We've been swapping details and you know even planning to meet up when people are visiting different places I think is one of the real valuable experiences about travelling and particularly travelling you know, with your profession, with people who are doing great work in other places as well. The main highlight was actually just meeting all the people. You know, a lot of uh, amazing architects from Sydney, landscape architects that I hadn't met before and I'd known of and I was really excited just to hang out. That was a definite highlight. Study tour is an opportunity for them to see architecture that many of you ever get to see. To bring them here to see that architecture and to experience it, you know, really is pleasing for us to see the joy and awe on their faces when they see something that they'd studied and now have seen it for the first time. So it was a good chance for them to talk about, you know, learnings around sustainability and where things are moving from an architectural practice point of view. And we're just really grateful to be able to provide that opportunity for them to enjoy that. We're excited this year that we've got a record contingent. Probably over 300, 350 Australian architects here in Venice. Enjoying and celebrating the Biennale and Australia's exhibition. We're in the Australia Pavilion. The Biennale theme is decolonisation and decarbonisation. So a key part of the exhibition, which is talking to the Indigenous and non-Indigenous people in the communities about their relationship to place. So thinking about justice and equity in issues of sustainability and environmental discourse and architectural discourse is really important. It's certainly a collective endeavour. This exhibition is, is called Unsettling Queenstown and it responds pretty directly to Leslie Locko's provocation around decolonisation and decarbonisation in the laboratory of the futures. We're really playing around with the idea of Queenstown and the, the name of Queenstown and how it's this generic marking of colonisation on the landscape. That combination of 
connection and also engagement is really core of what I would like people to take from in this exhibition, both within architecture and beyond. I've been very fortunate, this is my sixth time here in Venice, celebrating and enjoying the Australian exhibition and pavilion. We really wanted to take away memories of amazing architecture uh, and new friends.